If you want to make rope, you want large fibers, like the ones I was mentioning earlier. So something like this, that of course is a lot of work just to do one leaf. You have to wash it, dry it, and then end up with something like this. So now the next thing is, it's a tool that is called a tarabilla. The tarabilla is a tool that very likely came from the Mediterranean. As far as I know, unless you know anything about this, uh, Many Native Americans use it to hunt out some in Apaches, but I think this tool came from the old world. It came from uh, the Mediterranean, because very likely Egyptians and Phoenicians were already making rope with different plants, grasses, and other things uh, to make rope for the boats. And then Native Americans adopted it when Europeans brought it here because they were using horse hair, and then they adopted it for agave afterwards. So what we're gonna do really quick, uh, here's gonna be the spinner here. What this does, it creates a torque force that will allow me to twist all these fibers into rope literally in a matter of seconds. And this uh, hair could be human hair, this could be uh, horse hair, cow hair, and of course agave. And, and in this case, we'll show you how we can do by making several strands, we can go through the Chavinda style. The pole has a very super fancy charro style rope that he had. But you have to make several strands and then put them together and you need extra equipment for that. Uh, it, again, it's a process that takes hours and a half a day or more be, between cleaning the agave, drying it, washing it, preparing it, and twisting it. And finish it. It's a lot of work just to do one rope. But we're going to do a very simple strap here, a three strand strap in a matter of minutes. So I make a little loop right here. My hands are a little sticky, but I think it will work. Put <laughs> over this little uh, notch right here, both hands, and get it as close as possible. And you're going to go clockwise. Okay. Keep going. Is it a fast one? Yeah, no, you can go faster. So by doing that, I'm letting go just the right amount of hair, and it's twisting, and the torque force is making the fibers twine together, and they become very, very strong. This is a little tricky because you're basically letting go out of this ball the right amount. If you let go too much, it will fall apart. And if you let go too little, it will break. So you have to kind of uh, keep going the right amount so it will create that one strand. Now we do not need to go to Home Depot and buy rope, as you can see here. In a matter of seconds, we can do uh, a strand that will be very, very strong. After you do this for a while, your fingers hurt because uh, the, the, the fibers are very uh, kind of like um, rough. And also there's two tension uh, forces, two forces that I have to deal with here. The torque force that he's doing and the tension force that I'm doing here. So I'm pulling and also holding the torque force with my fingers at the same time. So it's quite a bit of a... Okay, let me stop right here. Yep. Keep going. Uh -huh. I'm gonna stop right here. Pass this around if you wanna feel what that is. So the more he twists, the stronger it gets. So now what we're gonna do, stop for a second now. Yeah. If I let this go, look what happens. I don't know what your baby wipes. See, automatically the force tends to go to one side because it's biased. The, the torque force is biased to one side. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna cancel the force by going around. And I'm gonna come back around and I'm gonna make a three strand rope by tripling it like this. <coughs> now typically you would use a tool to hold this right here, but since this is very small, I'm gonna use my finger. But I'm gonna hold it like this. Now you're gonna go counterclockwise. Uh -huh. uh, and what that does, in a matter of in a matter of seconds, it turns into rope. That's how old rope is made. Rope in rope, uh, nylon rope, Steel cable is made like this. It's the same physics of it. And in a matter of seconds, there it is. Now we're done. So just stretch it a little and try to break it. It's, it's, it's very, very strong. So this other machine can tighten really, really tight. So, but again, that's another scale that is disappearing. Very few people know how to do that. And, and, and again, it's something that comes from the ground, literally from an agave, from a plant, to a very, very strong rope that can handle wood and horses.